All right. So here's my question. Here's my question again. All right. We have two capacitors here. One is C. Second one is also C. They are identical capacitors. Identical capacitors connected what? Identical capacitors connected in parallel to a cell. Okay, connected in parallel to a cell. How do we know that they are in parallel? Because if you look at the top plate of the capacitor, that is connected straight to the positive terminal. If you look at the top plate of the capacitor here, the top plate is connected straight to the cell. Understand? So both of the capacitors have their top plates connected to the positive of the cell. Similar way, the bottom plates, look at the bottom plates, the bottom plate, this bottom plate, this bottom plate, no? Bottom plate of this capacitor is connected directly to the negative terminal. Bottom plate is connected straight to the negative terminal. So both of the positive plates are to the, both the top plates are to the positive, both the bottom plates are to the negative. So my point is the capacitors are connected between the same terminals, understand, same pair of terminals, all right? So they are in parallel combination. All right, so let us find the energy first. What is the equation for energy? We had three equations for energy stored in a capacitor. Half C V square, Q square by 2C, half Q V. Out of which you will be choosing half C V square. Why? You have a reason for this. Why? Tell me these are in parallel combination. In parallel combination, yesterday we learned that voltage is constant. Voltage is constant. Whoever is constant, that guy should be included in the question. I mean equation, right? So that is why I'm choosing an equation with the constant quantity here. Who is the constant quantity? V is the constant quantity. So my equation is half into C1 plus C2. Parallel combination is C1 plus C2, no? Effective is C1 plus C2 into V square. All right, and that is what? Half into C plus C is 2C, 2C into V square. All right. So initial energy of the configuration is two times u. I prefer to take this half C V squared together as a single term and that is called u. So you, I have u initial. Initial energy of the whole configuration is 2u. That is part number one. Now when you look at the second part, they are doing two things to the setup. One, they are switching the circuit off. All right, they are breaking the circuit. In a way, they are breaking the circuit. Second thing is, they are filling the capacitors with a dielectric material of dielectric constant three. Dielectric constant three. We have learned that the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is epsilon zero A by D. Epsilon zero A by D. And if you're filling that with a material, it is what epsilon zero, epsilon R A by D. Right, what is epsilon R in the question? They say that you're filling with a, you're filling it with a material of dielectric constant three. So that makes it epsilon zero three times A by D. So if you take these terms, terms together, you know, the circle terms, I'm calling it by the name C. It is already there, no? C, epsilon zero A by D. So three C. So in the changed scenario, the new capacitance is what? C dash C equal to three times C. Three times as much as the old one. Understand? Keep that in mind as you proceed. Okay, now let us get back to the question. What do they say? You're, they are breaking the circuit here, right? Which means what? This is still in connection. This capacitor, no, look at this capacitor. That is still connected to the cell. Still connected to the cell, no. Right, which means what? It is battery connected case. Battery connected case. How about the second one? Second one, the circuit is broken here, no? Right, which means what? That part of the capacitor, no, that capacitor is no more connected to the cell. That part is broken. There is no path for it, no? Therefore, there is no path for the charge to flow. Which means this is, this capacitor is out of the connection. It is disconnected. While this is, this, this still stays what? Still stays connected. Understand? So my, my case is one capacitor is still connected to the battery while the other one is removed from the battery. We discussed all the cases in last class, no? So I'm taking them one by one. Tell me the first case is what? Capacitance number one, battery connected to the connected to this capacitor case. Tell me what what is the equation for energy? Capacitor battery connected means yesterday I told you battery connected means voltage is a constant. Battery connected means voltage is a constant. So you have to choose an equation with voltage inside it. Voltage inside. Whoever is constant, that guy should be included in the question in the equation. All right. So I can write half into C into V square. 
all right you know but the new c is what c dash so i should be writing it as what half c dash v square all right that is half into what is my new c dash that is 3c half into 3c into v square if i club these terms together i'll have what half c v square will be called u that makes it what three times u so i got the energy of a capacitor in the second case all right i have one more case remaining now what is that i'm going to the second capacitor now that capacitor is no more connected to cell it is battery disconnected case understand battery disconnected or battery removed look at this capacitor to battery removed tell me what happens now if battery is removed you know there is no one to give further charges so whatever is stored in it must remain constant so charge is constant in battery removed case battery removed the moment you see battery removed you should think about this tell me what charge is constant tell me what charge is constant means what in your equation charge should be there right so i i can i can take an equation that contains a constant quantity here the constant quantity is charge so i am writing u2 f s q square by 2 c dash so i am writing q square by 2 into what is c dash c dash is 3 c no right so i can put it here if i take these terms together again q square by 2 c q square by 2 c is what same as half c v square old energy no old energy was called what old energy was called u so i could put the circle terms circle the terms can be taken together as u so that makes it u by 3 now having obtained final energy of first capacitor and final energy of second capacitor i should add them up so as to get the total final energy what is total final energy now that is you know 3u plus u by 3 3u for the first capacitor u by 3 for the second capacitor tell me what when you add them up lcm 3 comes here 3 into 3 9u plus u 10u by 3 the question is to find the ratio of initial energy to final energy or energy of the initial configuration to that of the final configuration tell me what so u initial by u final what was u initial 2u what was u final 10u by 3 u and u are cut take it in numerator 10 if you cut it with a 5 No, no, two. This is three by five. All right. There is a shortcut. If this is asked in entrance examinations, you can use this shortcut. It is a it is a frequently used shortcut. No, k two k by k square plus one. You can, but for boards you can't use this. They'll insist on the steps, so you have to write the steps, and you can use this to check if your answer is correct. All right. So u i by u f should be what? Two k by k square plus one. K value is three. No. So two into three is six. 3 square is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 so 6 by 10 or 3 by 5 did you understand say yes or no please